In this module, we're going to talk about shift registers. Shift registers can be used in either while loops or for loops. We're going to demonstrate, in this case, a for loop. A re shift register is obtained by right clicking and selecting Add Shift Register. It passes data from one iteration of the loop to another. We're going to create a constant here and tell us to go run five times. We're going to go to our numerics and we're going to tell it to increment by one. We're going to insert a indicator so we can see what's happening on the front panel. We'll go to our front panel. There's our numeric. We execute it. We see that we get a total of five, which matches. We told it to run five times, and we take the initial value of zero and execute it. I'm going to come back here. I've done no changes in the program. I'm going to execute it again, and you'll notice that it says 10. The reason is because when the program finished executing, this shift register still held the value of five. So when the program was then again run, since this had nothing to initialize it, it picked up the last value. We can force this to be initialized to some value, and in this case, zero. Go to our front panel, and we execute it, and you see we get five, and every time we run it, we will get five. You can also look at previous values of the shift register. In this case, I've dr drug it down for three. I'm going to create a number of indicators here. Create an indicator. That's the top one. Create an indicator for the middle one and create an indicator for the bottom one. So what I've done is just created three different indicators for the system so that we can see what's happening. If we go to, did that not attach? It should have attached. What is its problem? Oh, correct. Sorry, I have to get rid of that. There we go. Now I'm going to, there's my top, my middle, and my bottom, and my output. If I execute this, you see my output is 5. That's the value coming out of the output shift register right here. The top value of the incoming shift register is 4. The next one down is three, and the next one down is two. These represent the previous iterations of the loop. And that's how shift registers work.